everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced math curriculum writer, Ms. Jennifer, who will share with us what a primary three student will be learning for math in September. So Jennifer, what are they learning this month? Okay, so for P3 students in September, they will be doing angles and also parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, so with two topics, let's start with one first. So let's start with angles. So what would be the concept taught? So for P3 angles, they will learn uh, what are angles and at the same time, they need to identify what are acute angles, obtuse angle and right angle. Then the next thing will be comparing and ordering of angle, which one is greater than which one. And lastly, other than angles given in the figures, uh, they will also have to understand that there are angles in objects too and they must be able to identify them as well. Okay, so seems like an easy topic. Do you have any challenges that most students face? Yes, this is actually quite an okay topic for students and uh, because they get to do uh, quite a bit of hands-on, so they are actually quite, uh, they quite like it. So a few things to take note for this topic. Firstly will be the spelling of the angles, the obtuse and the acute. They must spell it correctly. Then the other ones that are the other challenges, uh, the other challenge that they face would be identifying whether it's greater or smaller than uh, a right angle, especially when it's being rotated as shown below. So what we can do, the tip for them is to get them to familiarize themselves with their ruler as a right angle. So as shown over here, and when they place it along the angles that is being asked, they will be able to see whether it is greater or smaller than a right angle. Okay, great. So what about the other topic, parallel and perpendicular lines? What would be the concepts taught? So in this topic, students will need to know and identify parallel and perpendicular lines and also horizontal and vertical lines. Uh, on top of that, they will also have to draw parallel and perp uh, perpendicular lines on square grids accurately. Alright, so last but not least, what are some important uh, things that the students should take note of? Okay, so since uh, students are quite okay with this topic, but just a reminder that when they are drawing the parallel and perpendicular lines on the grids, accuracy is very important and it is actually necessary. So we should always remind them to cultivate their sense of perfection. So another way to remember parallel and perpendicular lines will be remembering them as the 7 and the 11. Okay, great. Thank you very much. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.